Hey YouTubers, it is Early Riser 71 coming at you. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, feeling a little bit fat, probably. At least I am. Ate some good stuff, had a good day with the family. Uh, decided to come out and I'm going to go to, uh, to Uwari National Forest here in North Carolina. It's in between, um, say, Sanford, Southern Pines area, and Charlotte. Uh, very nice park, very nice uh, place to go, hike, boating, horseback riding, camping, all the above. I'm uh, gonna go shake out some gear again, just like I did up at that McLola. Um, not really, didn't really tweak much. Went out and got some uh, super feet inserts for my boots, for my shoes this time. Uh, went with the blue model, the thinner model. Uh, see how those work out. Uh, really, just gonna do one or two more gear shakeouts. Uh, and then we'll be ready for February kickoff. Well, that's about it. It's uh, it's a Friday, day after Thanksgiving, obviously. So I'm going to um, start at the trailhead today. The trail is 20 miles in length, one way. Not sure how far I'll go, how far I'll make it. Um, definitely have no schedule, but I like to get a good workout too. So we'll see how far we go. Uh, do a good camp out tonight. Um, possibly keep going tomorrow, see how you feel, or uh, head back to the truck and get to the house and take care of some business, watch some college football tomorrow. It's the last big weekend before the uh, conference champions start and then the playoffs right after. So, anyway, hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I will, uh, I'll get back with you when we get on the trail. All right. guys I'm here at the 109 trailhead in Uari uh, this is I don't think halfway uh, probably pretty close to halfway up to 20 miles so if you started from the south or from the north this is probably close to the midway point uh, so I just plan on doing maybe going up um, up to the very northern point today. I'm going to head north instead of south, hopefully gain a little more elevation. That could be a false assumption, but anyway, man, it's gorgeous here. Some of the leaves you can see around me, still getting some color. That one right there is very nice. Um, these are just beautiful when you see them up close. Anyway, um, only a couple of cars here today. I'm hoping that means I'm not going to see a lot of people out. Um, again, it's Friday. Uh, kind of hoping that bulk of the crowd won't be here till tomorrow, if at all. Uh, now we're gonna we're gonna get it on. So even though it's it's gonna be warm tonight, it's only gonna be in the 50s. Um, you can see that I've got my my AT ruck ready to go. This is a full dress rehearsal, so um, definitely gonna carry the weight and carry everything I am on the AT. Uh, and again, make it as realistic as possible. Very warm though, it's going to be 73 today, only in, in the mid 40s tonight. And then uh, tomorrow, start getting a cool down. So I wouldn't mind staying tomorrow night, really. It's going to be 31 tomorrow night, and that's a little more realistic for what we're going to face in February, I think, in, in March. Uh, but anyway, I'll check back in when we get moving. All right. Deuces. All right, guys. Probably about a half a mile into it right now. This place is really gorgeous. Still got some color on the trees. Um, a lot of a lot of pretty leaves just on the ground. A lot of leaves covering the trail too. This trail is kind of hard to see, but um, definitely uh, definitely practicing my white blazing. That's the mark for this trail too, which isn't abnormal. I think the Art Lobe Trail out in out in Pisca is a uh, white blaze as well as uh, I think it's two double white blazes at some points when the Mountain to Sea Trail intersects it. Very quiet out here today. Um, kind of following a little creek right now. 
Don't have much water in it. You can make do if I had to. But <clears throat> Hopefully, other sources aren't this dry. I packed out uh, probably about a liter and just under two two liters of water uh, for the hike. Planning on definitely resupplying for tonight. I'd like to be able to drink both of those just for hydration purposes and then fill up again for cooking and tonight and then um, fill up again in the morning. Anyway, um, this trail's really cool with uh, a lot of rocks underfoot. Can't see a lot of them because of the leaves. Um, cool little campground over here behind me. You can just see, see through the film that this place is gorgeous and it feels like I've got it all to myself. I know there were a couple of cars in the parking lot, but it's pretty cool. Another good thing about the trail here in Uari is, um, and it's called the Uari Trail by the way, but it's, uh, it's hiking only. There's no mountain bikes, which <clears throat> my mountain bike skills would not be up to par to ride on this trail, but it's good. It's hiking only. I've um, got some solitude out here, a good place to come, stretch out your legs, uh, test out the gear, and just just relax for those who enjoy the solitude. All right, um, check back in when we got something. Ooh, there's a good little creek right there, a good little stream flowing. Just gorgeous here today. Leaves are falling almost like snow. It is very warm, but not too bad. I'm trying out a new icebreaker shirt today. Um, so far, so good. A little bit warm, this thing seems to be regulating that pretty well, just like promised. Merino wool, the cat's meow. Hopefully you could just, I don't know, hear the silence, hear the leaves falling, hear just the solitude of this place. There's nobody out here. This is what I look forward to the most on the AT, and I know some people will say, well, brother, there's going to be a lot of people there, and I know there will, but I've seen enough video and enough recounts of the experiences people have had and, and I look forward to meeting people but also look forward to this just a, just being at peace food water and shelter the basics of life That's why these places call us, as humans, as animals. That's what's calling me to the AT. I can't wait.
Gorgeous day out here today. leaves. Just gorgeous. Hopefully you can hear that noise. It sounds like rain. That's all the, the leaves falling. It does sound like rain. better way to burn off Thanksgiving dinner. Well, on the map, this is saying this might be the last uh, good water heading up north, so I can't take a chance. I'm going to go ahead and suck some down and fill up right here. That's a pretty slow moving stream. Um, in fact, it's pretty stagnant in some places. This is one place I can find where it's at least moving. Uh, I'm not too worried about it, to be honest with you. The filter should be able to take care of most of it. Not all of it. What it's here for. The plan here is, A, I'm going to suck down some water, but B, I'm going to use... Sorry. I'm going to use my Evernew bag fill that up and uh, then squeeze that into my bottles. Then I may actually um, put about a liter in my bag too for tonight just in case I don't cross over anything and I decide to stop. I had some cloud cover move over. It's actually kind of nice. kind of looks like rain though. But there wasn't any in the forecast from what I saw, so even if it does, no big deal. We're ready. Dog running right there. He's hauling ass. Hmm. I don't know where he's going. Thought it was a white-tailed deer at first. Little white dog. Anyway, here's a caution for you. It's good to chug water when you're at your water source. Um. And don't chug it all, just in case. Just in case you get your solder squeeze up or something goes wrong and it's felling on you and you're not going to get any more water, save some so at least you can get a little bit farther. I know that's, I know that's common sense, but uh, not a lot of people do it.
Alright, that's the Sawyer Squeeze, the regular size. Man, you see the water flow is pretty good there. Um, nice, cool water. It had a, definitely had some uh, silt in it, so I'm going to have to uh, back flush that thing when I get home. But it should be good easily throughout this trip. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to refill the, the bigger bag and uh, start, start heading on down the trail. Alright, guys. Catch you in a little while. Alright y'all, um, just made it to the northern end of the Uari Trail. I'm up at a jumping off rock trailhead. It's off of Route 1306. Um, I'll tell you, the, the last little bit of downhill and the top up there coming down definitely, uh, definitely rocky. Um, I haven't been to Pennsylvania yet, or Rocksylvania, but man, I can only wait if it's anything like what I just experienced coming down the mountain there. Uh, just turning ankles, jamming toes. Um, sounds like everything that Gator and everybody else reported as they walked through there. Just for anybody that's um, going to walk northbound, <clears throat> once you cross over the last gravel road, and really, I'll be honest with you, y'all saw where I got water at earlier. Um, but there isn't a whole lot of water to last four or five miles northbound um, until you get to uh, the end here. And uh, as you come down to the parking lot, and I'll show you that when I get back across the street. But if you cross over the street, uh, what you'll find is a nice creek right here. Nice little river flowing. Ice cold. Just went down and filtered some water, chugged some. Uh, trying to get a game plan, getting some calories down real quick. Um, probably going to head back up through the rock maze. I'm going to have to fix my feet real quick. Make sure I don't have any blisters or, or hot spots um, that are causing me any problems. But right now they feel pretty good. Uh, probably just try to find somewhere to camp up on top. i got plenty of water now. I'll be able to make it down to the water sources tomorrow, even after cooking dinner later. Um, Probably do a little bit of night walking tonight to get back to where I want to, but that's okay. Uh, ultimately, um, yeah, again, this looks like a pretty cool place to start. Uh, walking southbound if you wanted to do that. Again, it's off 1306. Um, and it's the uh, northern terminus. All right, guys, back on the Uari Trail. I'll try to catch back up when I get in the camp. If it's dark, I'll try, see what we got going on. I'll have a headlamp, but if not, I'll catch up with you cats in the morning. All right, peace. The risers. I am on the go. Um, I'm gonna try to sit earlier and get back to this rocky part. I'll have to do that in the morning. <clears throat> Think about trying to make it back to uh, well, not trying hell. Ain't nothing but walking, but uh, make it back to Grayson's Rock. Give you another shout out, Grayson. Again, proud of you. Came back and tackled, tackled that rock. Can't let it keep us down. Anyway, um, little mountain top up there. Look pretty cool. Uh, I got plenty of water now. So thinking about camping out up there. Um, had to pitch camp in the dark. Ain't no big deal. I do it all the time. Yeah. I think, uh, think that'll be the plan. Um, and you know, you know the saying, I'm more early to bed, early to rise. That's what early riser is all about. So I'll probably get about four or five, walking by six. Start heading southbound. All right, we're on the way. I'll uh, catch you guys later. It's a beautiful evening. I want to get you this uh, sun going down over the mountains. Beautiful out here. Just gorgeous. Probably about the last weekend for the leaves. Glad I got out here and caught them. Means a lot, really. All right, hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Hope you're having a good Friday evening. I am, man. This is the best. All right, we'll see y'all later. All right, early risers. Um, that's about it for today. 
walk back probably two and a half miles um, back towards the south, back towards the truck. Uh, and then I saw this little hilltop earlier. The trail's probably about, um, I don't know, not even point one down the hill behind me towards the sunset. Uh, so I'm just going to hang out up here. It looks like a gorgeous, gorgeous night. Good little place to hang my bear bag, I think. And um, Yeah, we'll go from there. We're going to set up camp and uh, get some grub on and uh, roll out some muscles. Get the legs ready for tomorrow. And uh, just relax. Have a good evening. Appreciate y'all joining me today. I will uh, catch back up with y'all tomorrow. Sleep well. Right, good morning, early risers. It is Saturday, 26 November. Um, right at 7 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> when I last uh, had the camera on, <clears throat> I was uh, up on that hilltop getting ready to camp out. Then quickly decided I really didn't like the spot, so I started moving. I moved for probably another hour and a half southbound towards the truck. Um, found a little campsite. Uh, it was good. Got everything set. Um, you know, the first thing I do when I get into camp is get my boots off. Actually, I got my tent up last night, got my boots off and then massage stick my muscles, <clears throat> my legs and my feet. Um, and I'll offer that, I will, I will post a link to the massage roller that I use, the massage stick. I got it on Amazon, I'm sure. Um, and it, it weighs ounces, like I said in my earlier video. <clears throat> and I'm telling you, it is, uh, it's unbeatable. My legs full, fully, are feel fully fresh this morning. Uh, bottom of my feet were a little bit sore last night. Good to go today. Uh, don't have any lingering knots in my legs this morning. And that's going to be critical. I think that's critical for any of us who are trying to do um, extended periods of walking with weight on our sh shoulders. Still figuring out my shoulders are pretty knotted up last night. I might get a solution for that too, but it's got to be lightweight. Uh, but anyway, yeah, once I got that done, ate some ramen oriental style with uh, some tuna last night uh, watching the last episode of the wire season one watch the conclusion of that that was fabulous and then uh had a pretty breathless night of sleep it was a perfect night i think it got down probably in the high 40s low 50s it was perfect just still exhausted didn't sleep real good it's all good it'll come got up about five packed everything up got some coffee ate a couple of pop tarts and uh been moving for about 30 40 minutes now life's good uh, heading back to the truck this morning and go back and spend the rest of the weekend with my family. Um, man, really good shakeout. Really good time. The UR National Forest. Gorgeous. Again, I, I started at the 109 trailhead and went north. <clears throat> they say it's about eight miles on the map um, to get to the, the Falling Rock or whatever trailhead up north. I called it the Terminus, but I think the trail actually keeps going. You gotta come try this out. Especially the first six miles of this are just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous and be worth your time. All right, early risers, uh, appreciate you watching. I will uh, I'll post this video soon, and I gotta get a your review on there. I want to get some comments from everybody. Um, my winter weight's a little heavy, uh, but man, I'm a stronger guy, so doesn't mean I shouldn't try to get it down light, but I'm not going to rob myself a couple of creature comforts either. All right, y'all. Hope y'all have a good weekend.
burn off that Thanksgiving dinner, get out and exercise, get out and do something active. All right, peace.